Coming up, your mailman may soon start taking Saturdays off. And gun control legislation is introduced in Congress. Your news about Asta starts now. Welcome to News About Asta. I'm Gabby Garrett. And I'm Reed Burkett. In the news today, your mailman is one step closer to taking the whole weekend off. In an effort to save money, the United States Postal Service will halt Saturday deliveries of first-class mail beginning August 1st. Republican Senator Tom Coburn says the move will save the company approximately $2 billion. Senator Coburn and Representative Daryl Issa are both on the committee that oversees the Postal Service. They are sending a letter to the House and Senate leaders today urging them to support the elimination of the Saturday Postal Service in hope to change the law which has prevented USPS to do so in the past. Veteran Eddie Ray Ruth is currently being held on two counts of murder in the slayings of Chris Kyle and Chad Littlefield. Kyle was a former Navy SEAL sniper and author of the best-selling book American Sniper. Kyle was with Littlefield at a shooting range in Stevenson, Texas, when Ruth turned his gun on the pair at the range, killing them instantly. Ruth had recently been released from a mental institute after being diagnosed with severe post-traumatic stress disorder from his years in Iraq. His relatives say he was a victim of the government's inability to provide the mental health treatment needed after combat. The U.S. Army has reported 325 confirmed or potential suicides last year among active and non-active military. That's an increase of 42 from 2011. The military's Defense Casualty Analysis System shows 313 military deaths in the Operation Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan. And that means more soldiers killed themselves than were killed in combat. Lieutenant General Howard Bromberg says the Army will take aggressive measures to meet the challenge of suicides as every loss of life impacts families. Legislation has just been introduced in Congress that would create a dedicated federal anti-gun trafficking law. It would also further crack down on lying on federal background checks as well as buying guns for other people. Though le the legislation has bipartisan support, lawmakers still stress the difficulty of passing any bill through both houses of Congress. A companion bill has also been sent to the Senate. After a week of being held hostage in an underground bunker, a six-year-old boy named Ethan is able to celebrate his birthday today with his family. Last week, 65-year-old Jimmy Lee Dykes abducted Ethan from a Midland City, Tennessee school bus. Dykes took Ethan back to his Alabama home and barricaded him in his underground survival bunker, where the two stayed for six days. Authorities raided the bunker, shot Dykes, rescuing Ethan, and returned him home to his family last night. FBI agents have disposed of two explosives hidden within the bunker where the two were housed for almost two weeks. Coming up, a food fight could lead to criminal charges for some Georgia high school students. And rain is coming this week. We'll have the complete weather forecast when we come back. Welcome back to News Valdosta. 30 years ago, the idea of making a bionic human seemed absurd. 
but now our, now our robotics team is making the idea a reality. A team called Shadow has made Rex, a prototype of the first bionic man. So far, the team has been able to rebuild nearly two-thirds of Rex with parts such as an artificial pancreas and heart, even a human face. The team used prosthetic limbs for Rex's hand, feet, hips, and knees, but Rex still needs a human to control his movements. Though the team has not looked into building an artificial brain, Rex marks a breakthrough in robotic technology. It seems online users are getting tired of Facebook. In a recent study conduct conducted by Pew Research Center, 27% of Facebook users plan to spend less time scrolling through their timelines this year. Only 3% of the users say they will spend more time on the site. The study also found that 61% of users have taken a break from the site for several weeks or more. Common reasons for leaving the site include not having enough time and a lack of interest in the content of the site. Five McDonough students face criminal charges this week after a food fight they started at their school. Nine Ola High School students took part in what they considered to be a senior prank and started a fight in their school cafeteria. The officials did not think the food fight was funny and now five of the students face charges ranging from disruption of a public school, obstruction of justice, and failure to disperse. The students are meeting with school administrators this week to find out what punishment they may face. Bullying is a problem sweeping schools all over the nation and can be linked to low self-esteem. But News Valdosta's Yolanda Mitchell has more on ways to change that. Bullying is an old problem with new headlines filling the papers daily. Five-time black belt and owner of performance martial arts, Mitchell Church, is finding a way to fight the problem by building self-esteem through martial arts. Uh, we have a, uh, a PA that parents fill out and lets us know what they're wanting their child to actually get through the program. Uh, we have four certain areas and all of them go right back to self-confidence and self-discipline. And if you have that, if you have the self-confidence and self-discipline, you more than likely you won't be bullied because you know how to prevent that and what to do if the situation yeah, cool. occurs. So you don't really have that, but a lot of parents bring them to us for that reason, absolutely. Bullying often stems from a child having low self-esteem or by a child that was bullied themselves. Suicides and school shootings have both been linked to bullying. Students at the academy are taught ways to defend themselves if they are approached by a bully. They are also taught skills such as self-esteem, discipline, self-defense, and being good citizens. Martial arts is good for both boys and girls and the skills they learn help them in all areas of their lives. Martial arts is just one way to help build your child's self-esteem and protect from bullying. With News Valdosta, I'm Yolanda Mitchell. An earthquake of 8-point magnitude caused a tsunami to hit the Solomon Islands as well as spread warnings and watches across Australia and New Zealand early this morning. At least 100 homes across the small chain of islands have been destroyed and some villages still remain unreachable. While the number of confirmed deaths is currently only at five, officials say this is likely to rise once all villages are accessible again. Taking a look at your local weather, today we'll see partly cloudy skies with a high in the upper 70s cooling down to a low in the mid-50s tonight. Tomorrow night, expect afternoon thunderstorms with the temperatures in the mid-70s, and tomorrow night will cool down to the upper 50s with winds reaching 12 miles an hour. Coming up, VSU salutes Black History Month. And campus organizations show students what they have to offer. Stay tuned with us. Body language. Without saying a word, so much. Like someone is having a stroke. Know the sudden signs. Learn fast. F. Face drooping. A. Arm weakness. S. Speech difficulty. T. Time. Time to call 911 immediately. The sooner they get to the hospital, the sooner they'll get treatment. And that can make a remarkable difference in their recovery. Learn the body language, the sudden signs, and spot a stroke fast. I got my MBA online at VSU. 
As a working mom who travels on business, I needed an MBA program that fit my schedule and allowed me to balance both my work and home life. VSU's Web MBA was perfect. I was able to spend time with my family in the evenings and then complete my assignments. My MBA is one of my greatest accomplishments. It was hard work, but I would do it again in a heartbeat. Don't wait. Start your MBA today. Welcome back to News Valdosta. I'm Gabby Garrett. And I'm Reed Burkett. Road construction here in Valdosta is about to shut down a local road for the whole month of February. Starting tomorrow, Tomb Street will be closed between Wayne Avenue and Victory Drive to continue the construction work of the Gornto Road Extension. For the next three weeks, that portion of the Tomb Street will be accessible only to local residential traffic. Drivers are urged to drive with caution and be on the lookout for local or traffic warning signs around this area. The street will reopen to all drivers and traffic on March 1st. In honor of Black History Month, VSU's Music Department and African American Studies program will sponsor a performance by the American Spiritual Ensemble tonight. The event starts at 7 p.m. in Whitehead Auditorium. The ensemble puts on diverse concerts to keep African American spirituals alive, but also perform classical and Broadway songs. Tonight's performance is free of charge and open to the public. For more information on upcoming concerts, you can check the Department of Music's calendar of events on the VSU website. As the VSU semester gets in full swing, the annual Student Organization Fair took over a part of the campus this week. Students could receive information about the organizations as well as to get some awesome treats. News Valdosta's Brigitte Wiley has the story. Save! VSU Hi, I'm Marina from SAVE and we're Students Against Violating the Environment. We're back this year and we're better than ever. We're actually going up to Washington, D.C. to protest against different environmental causes and things on campus. Air Force Reserve Officer Training Corps! My name is Avreen Wagner. I'm a member of BC College Democrats. And what we do around campus is we do a lot of things with political awareness and activism. Spectator! Lifeguard Guard Club! We save lives! Hi, I'm Cadet Annalise Suzak and I'm with Air Force Reserve Officer Training Corps, which is an officer training program through Valdosta State University or any of your Crosstown universities. Hi, I'm Jennifer with The Spectator and you can find us on campus in West Hall or any of the housing departments. On Tap Magazine! My name is Mitchell Stratton and I'm president of the Lifeguard Club and we save lives at the campus rec! Hi, I'm Daniel Young, Editor-in-Chief with ONTAP Magazine. You can find us at ONTAPVSU.com. Hello, I am Kelly Williams, President of the Black Student League here at Valdosta State University. Uh, we're a community service organization and we're also the first African American organization on the campus of VSU. To get more information about any of these wonderful organizations, you can visit the Valdosta website at Valdosta.edu. I'm Bridget Wiley with News Valdosta. Good news for people seeking jobs in South Georgia. Wild Adventures will soon hire 200 new seasonal employees. They are looking to fulfill positions in every field, such as performers, ride operators, and cooks. The theme park will have a two-day job fair next Tuesday and Wednesday. Those who are interested in participating will need to register on the Wild Adventures site by this Sunday. Thanks for watching News Valdosta. I'm Reed Burkett. And I'm Gabby Garrett. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.